Welcome to Here's My Story. I'm Dua. On a sunny Saturday morning, as I wandered closer to the lively garage sale down the street, Erin, the neighbor's daughter who always teases me, <laughs> spotted me with a grin. Look, the shyest girl in the neighborhood is here, she roared. I spotted a dress. This is pretty. Was it your grandma's? Erin laughed. <laughs> is that what you like? No one in our family has such bad taste. My mom bought it for Halloween to dress up as a fortune teller woman. But then she decided to be Cleopatra. I want to buy it, I said. Aaron shrugged. No one will buy this tasteless dress anyway. It's yours for $20. I handed over the money, clutching the dress. Maybe it wasn't everyone's taste, but it was perfect for me. When I got home, <laughs> I couldn't wait any longer. So I slipped into the dress I had bought from Aaron's garage sale. Mom wasn't home, so I grabbed my phone to video call her. Mom, look, Aaron's family was having a garage sale. I got this dress from them. That dress is something. But it's a bit much for just hanging out around here, don't you think? I laughed. <laughs> yeah, if I wore this outside, I'd be the center of attention. Avoiding attention is my specialty. I'll just wear it at home. After we said goodbye, I reached for a barrette to pin up my hair. But it slipped from my fingers and clattered to the floor. Bending to pick it up, something sparkly caught my eye under the bed. No way, I whispered. Excitement bubbling up as I reached further. There it was. The ring I thought I lost forever, gleaming back at me. It wasn't just a <laughs> ring, but a birthday gift from my parents. Overjoyed, I scooped it up and did a little victory dance in my room. The following day, I washed and ironed the dress, put it in my closet, and kind of forgot about it. That changed when Thanksgiving was coming up. Thanksgiving means going to my grandparents' house for a huge family dinner. The dress seemed <laughs> just right for something so special. But I didn't want to wear it from our house to theirs and get all sorts of looks on the way. I came up with a plan. I packed the dress in a bag and changed into it at my grandparents' house. This way, I could show off my new dress surrounded by my family. <laughs> As soon as we arrived at my grandparents' house, I changed into the dress. Walking out, I was greeted with warm smiles and compliments. With wide eyes, my cousin Hadley said, Is this the dress you mentioned on the phone? It's cool. Setting the table was my job for the day. I was carefully placing plates and cutlery when my mom called out. Dua, how's the table coming along? Grandpa's about to bring the turkey in. <laughs> Almost ready, I shouted back. Then, from the kitchen, Hadley's voice reached me. Cousin, hurry! You've got to see this turkey. Let's snap a selfie with it before dinner starts. I need to finish this first, I replied. But she insisted. Come on, it'll be super quick. This moment won't come again. Feeling the pull of her excitement, I decided to join her. No sooner had I left than a loud crash echoed through the house. Alarmed, we all ran to the dining room to see what had happened. The sight that met us was shocking. The chandelier had fallen right onto the table, exactly where I had been setting plates moments before. I stood there, frozen, realizing I could have been under it. Wow, is this because of the dress? Could it be bringing me luck? I murmured. As the reality of the situation sank in, the room filled with tense silence quickly followed by my family expressing their relief and amazement at my narrow escape. The next day, a thought hit me as I carefully hung the dress back in my wardrobe. The first time I wore it, I found my long-lost ring. The second time, it seemed to shield me from a potential disaster. Then curiosity got the better of me. Was it luck or just coincidence? Would something lucky happen now? I wandered around the house, waiting, but... Nothing unusual occurred. What am I thinking? Believing a dress can bring luck? I laughed to myself. <laughs> when I was about to take off the dress, someone knocked at the door. Even though I didn't want to be seen in the dress, I went to answer it. Opening the door, I was stunned. There stood a young man with a cameraman behind him. My mouth <gasps> fell open as I recognized him. Mr. Monster, a famous YouTuber. He was smiling, <laughs> holding a small bag. Hi, it's your lucky day, he said, then waved the bag slightly. This bag? It has $10,000 in it. 
all for you. I'm hitting 100 houses today, aiming to give away $1 million. I was speechless, my heart racing with shock and excitement. As Mr. Monster handed me the bag and moved <laughs> on to his next lucky house, I closed the door. The bag's weight in my hands feeling surreal. Yes, the money was incredible, but a deeper joy filled me as I looked down at the dress. My dress. It was bringing me good luck. A couple of days later, to my surprise, my cousin Hadley showed up at our doorstep. I miss you, she said, which was unexpected. We usually only met during family gatherings like Thanksgiving. We had dinner with my parents, filling the room with chatter and laughter. Mom suggested, do a let Hadley sleep in your bed when bedtime rolls around. I've set up a spot for you in the living room. She's our guest. My mind was swirling with thoughts of the dress and its luck. So I barely <laughs> registered what mom said and just nodded. In the morning, I woke up buzzing with excitement for what the day might hold. As I entered the kitchen, mom said, Oh, Dua, Hadley left early for a class and didn't even have time for breakfast. Rushing to my room, excited to wear the dress, I swung open my wardrobe. Oh my God! The space where the dress should have been was empty. Could Hadley have taken it? But how would she even know about its special luck? Tears welled up in my eyes. Should I tell mom? Yet, suggesting Hadley might be a thief held me back. I knew mom would dislike me pointing fingers at my cousin without solid proof, and she might not even believe my story. I picked up my phone and called Hadley. She answered almost immediately. Hi, cousin. Sorry I left early because I had a class. Her voice didn't give anything away, and it didn't sound like she knew anything about the dress. Okay, cousin. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Bye. In the evening, I was just trying to distract myself online when mom burst into my room. Dua, you've got to see this. Come to the living room quick. Hadley's on the news, and it's not good. I rushed in, my heart racing. On the TV, the reporter was talking. The video we're about to show is unbelievable. Captured by people there. It all starts with a young girl sprinting for her life because a lion that escaped from the zoo is chasing her. Then a meteorite falls from the sky, creating a huge hole in her path. She falls into this hole, and moments later, a water tanker overturns, pouring all its water into the hole. Now, a makeshift pool, trapping the girl. Struggling and unable to swim, she tries to get rid of her dress, shouting, it's all because of this dress. I didn't voice my thoughts to mom, but it all clicked. A lion, a meteorite, a water tanker. It was clear that somehow that dress had made Hadley the unluckiest person in the world. The next day, a soft knock came at the door. When I opened it, there stood Hadley, her eyes rimmed with tears, clutching a large bag. I let her inside. Once inside, Hadley pulled the dress out of the bag. Cousin, this dress seems lucky just for you. For anyone else, it's only trouble. But how did you even know about the dress's luck? I asked. Hadley wiped her eyes before she started explaining. Remember that day at our grandparents when you dodged the chandelier? You wondered aloud if the dress was bringing you luck. I overheard that. Then I saw a <laughs> teaser by Mr. Monster for next week's video where he's giving away money to people at their homes. He hid their faces, but I recognized the dress and connected the dots. While you were asleep, I grabbed the dress. Later, I changed into it in a public restroom. And the moment I stepped outside wearing it, that's when a lion started chasing me. You must have seen it on TV. I bit my lip, trying hard not to laugh at the bizarre series of events. Hadley sighed, a smile creeping in. You can laugh. Looking back, it does seem pretty funny. And with that, <laughs> we both burst into uncontrollable laughter. That day, Hadley vowed to never reveal the secret of the dress. Ever since, I've worn my lucky dress on numerous occasions. And each time, it's brought me some form of luck. The good fortune has ranged from minor, a test I hadn't prepared for got delayed, to major, like when I won $100,000 in the lottery.
I excitedly shared the story of the dress with my parents, but they brushed it off, skeptical of my claims. I'm certain of the dress's charm in my heart, and that belief alone suffices for me. <laughs>